Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger. I am Mega Freak 400, and we are in the Magic Cave, on the road to Ver no, um, to Mangus's lair to defeat him because uh, he is going to create la uh, Lavos, and if we don't uh, stop him from doing that, the world will be destroyed, which isn't good. Obviously, you don't want the world destroyed because then, yeah, that that self-explanatory for the most part. Anyway, um. This cave's not that hard, it just has like enemies like gremlins and vamps. They're, it's just pretty straightforward to get through here. However, uh, if you haven't gone to see Specchio yet, uh, Frog will say at least the first time you battle enemies. Um, oh, we learned Triple Ray, our first triple tech. You'll see that pretty soon. Uh, be that magic you use, I have heard only magicians will it now. Are you a magician? Are you David Blaine? No, um, but anyway, you have to, he'll just you can tell you to go to the end of the time, which I knew to do, but I continued onward because at the moment, uh, Chrono was almost at level 20, so I wanted to level him up as, as much as possible because I wanted to tr attempt to fight, uh, Specchio at, uh, his next form. However, I'm not going to show that because I couldn't do it. I really sucked at that battle. Um, so usually I'll advise saying, like, wait a little bit after you. You know, don't don't go at, uh, to fight him right after you get to level 20, unless you're like a really really good, really really good. But even then, I, you know, I I tried several times to battle him and I just kept failing. Not horribly, just just you know, failing semi horribly, if that makes any sense. Um. Anyway, um. So Wednesday or no, not Wednesday. Uh, Thursday. Uh, I went to see. Uh, I went to the movies, which I usually don't do. I'm not really into going to the movies that much. I I watch. I watch movies and I watch it at home, but I usually don't watch uh, movies uh, at theaters all that much. But anyway, I went to see. Um, well, actually, first, uh, you're going to see me go up these stairs because there's something important I have to say. Note written in blood: the juggler in Mag Mag Magus' ca castle. Things guard when attacks. So yeah, that's important to know whenever uh, you fight the juggler. And yeah, uh, right here I went to Dundero Mountains um, to uh, again level up Chrono, and I was showing any level up slash learning moves that I learned. And then uh, we're gonna go see Specchio so we can um, teach Frog magic. That's the biggest toy I've ever seen. Hey, you're not alive, are you? You've got great strength, however. Since I can't measure your inner character, I can't give you any magic. So yeah, he's talking to Robo. And yeah, he says that his lasers affect shadow damage. So Robo can't learn magic, as I've already stated. However, Frog can, and because he's a frog, he's gonna give him water automatically. I don't. That, that's kind of that, that. That's racist. Um. Anyway. So yeah, now Frog knows water magic. His water magic isn't really that fantastic. It's decent. Um, his sword play is probably more what you want to use, uh, for Frog. His magic is decent, though, but it's not, you know, like, like, ultra mega hyper magic power or something. And yeah, right here, um, whenever you learn magic, like, like the first time you battle, you'll learn, uh, like, dual techniques that you, you could learn at this, you should have already been able to learn, but you didn't know the magic, so I learned Sword Stream and Bubble Snap, um, from Frog. You, like, with, with techs, you can have the amount of uh, tech points you need uh, to learn the tech, but you have to battle with the characters in your party. So, like, uh, I haven't learned any from, like, Marley and Luca lately because I haven't been using them as much. Well, Luca a little bit. This can only be... It must be... Disneyland! No, um, Megas' Castle, because it's dark, scary, and music started playing. And there's bats. Everyone loves bats. So yeah, obviously this is Megas' castle. Yeah, thank you, Frog, for stating the obvious. I mean, not to mention the fact that the devil want on this uh, place to enter it. It said Megas' lair, but whatever. Okay, so anyway, I went to the movies and I saw um, Toy Story 3. Oh, real quick, we have to go to the left and right, but there's not really anything to do, so you just have to go down both of those hallways before you can uh, do anything, as you'll be seeing me do. Um, so, I went to see Toy Story 3, um, and... It, it's a really, really good... Luca, what are you doing here? Don't waste your strength. And there's Queen Lane. Yeah, yeah, that that's obviously Queen Lane. And Ma, how'd you go back in time? Uh, th yeah, th that's not really my mother. Um, so... Uh, Queen Lane... Or, ah, uh, Queen Lane. <laughs> Toy Story 3. <laughs> um, Toy Story 3, 
uh, is a really good movie, though. From Coming from Pixar, the thing about Pixar is, and I've said this before, um, with 3D animation, a, a lot of times it seems that for a while companies were just, you know, saying, oh, it's 3D, and they weren't really attempting to, you know, make the movie. They were just trying to, you know... They made good animation, but the movie and the storyline, in terms of making the plot and making it a good movie, um, weren't really always, you know, uh, the main focus of Pixar. They always were making it a good movie first, and the animation is also really fantastic. And, like, again, they're, I guess they're not, like, with some things, they're not just coping out and saying, oh, CGI, we're, not, we're just gonna, you know, do 3D, C or CGI, and uh, not worry about making a good story or anything, because people will be awed and amazed by the th animation anyway. And it's Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, and by the way, Flea and Slash are ma named after. Oh, damn it! I forgot. One's after the hot. One of the uh, singers from the uh, Red Hot Chili Peppers. I can't remember what that one person said the uh, Slash was from. And it really pisses me off. Anyway, we gotta fight Flea and Slash. And yeah, all these beasts in Magus' lair. And Ozzy's gonna run away as he did on the bridge. Oh, that pisses me off that I can't remember Slash's band name. And I'm sure someone's gonna tell me, and, and that's fine, it just, I really kind of annoys me that I forgot again. Um, anyway, th th this, this, these beasts aren't too bad, for the most part. Um, but anyway, yeah, t uh, Pixar really does focus on, uh, you know, making a good movie. And Toy Story 3 is a, th is a threequel. Usually threequels, at least from animation perspective, tend not to be, like, Shrek 3 just sucked, um, sucked, really, it sucked a lot, it really, I didn't, it was really not a good movie, um, you know, compared to the other two, and, uh, you know, Pixar, I, I, I don't think Pixar has yet to make a bad movie, uh, I also like the shorts, like, uh, the short at the beginning of Toy Story 3 is really interesting, it's, like, kind of, because a lot of the, their shorts can, can uh, be used, like, for innovative concepts sometimes, too, like, uh, not always, but the one, this one that was basically had two guys who were, like, two, uh, two-dimensional animation, and they they had bodies that had three-dimensional animation inside it. It was really neat, and, and it was fun to watch, um, but as for the movie itself, I will say, I, my initial reaction was, everyone was saying it was dark and sad, and, and there was, you know, there was definitely sad parts at the end, and it was definitely, you know, I didn't find it that much darker than um, the original Toy Story. However, after thinking about it more, there was some parts that, for them, were, were quite you know sad and quite emotional. However, I do wish um, I do uh, they, they sprinkled humor in some of those scenes, even even the sad ones. So it wasn't nearly like as depressing as it could have been, which could be a good thing or a bad thing. Um, but, like, the first Toy Story, I think it was on par with, the, you know, the, I don't think it was anything, like, uh, more darker than it has already been in the series, personally. Um, and, and if they got rid of the humor, then maybe, but I don't think, I don't know. I, I, I wouldn't necessarily say it's, um, like, someone, one of my friends mentioned that, uh, it, you wouldn't see a kid's comedy, you wouldn't see, like, a cute, you know, family-friendly comedy, but, I don't know, I, I mean, if you watched the first two, but I don't know, I, I think it was just basically similar to, uh, the darkness and sadness levels of the other two movies, personally. That's not to say that it wasn't a great movie, it was a fantastic movie that everyone should go see right now. Um, really a good movie, uh, one of Pixar's best, personally. Uh, I don't know, I, I, there's some movies that Pixar, people praise for Pixar, and I, like Cars, everyone seems to like Cars, and I never really was a big fan of Cars, not that it's a bad movie at all, but it's just, personally, that's not my favorite, I, I like, um, Nemo, of course, is a really great movie, Ratatouille seems to get, like, a lot of people don't like Ratatouille, and I don't know why, I really enjoyed Ratatouille, but that really goes down to personal preference, because really all of them are great movies, but, um, yeah, Toy Story 3 is fantastic, um, and it's not really, again, it's not really a complaint that it wasn't dark enough. Uh, I thought it was, I, you know, it's just more of a statement because everyone's been, like, saying they've been crying at the end of the movie, and I don't know. I, The only thing that was really, you know, really emotional was um, just the themes that the movie was portraying, not really any of the actions. I'm trying not to spoil anything. Um, there was one part that was, you know, again, it was it was kind of sad, but then then they uh, added humor into it, so it was like, okay, this was sad, but then you made it funny, okay? Uh, it, it just kind of almost balanced it out, so it wasn't, like, overly dark, in my opinion. But then again, I don't know. I don't know. What, what do I know? 
I know what 2 plus 2 is. It's it's 4. I hope. Maybe it's 5. It's 203. Um, so, uh, yeah, we, we are got through that hallway. You have to go through both hallways again, but this time you have to fight people. And it's that guy. Kind of looks like uh, one of the... Again, a lot of them look like uh, Sir Slush. Look like... Um, this is from Banjo-Kazooie. Uh, characters from Dragon Ball Z, of course, because uh, it's made by the same artist. So, uh, Slash just look like one of the aliens that you fight, or that are in that um, the anime. But anyway, I'm out of time. Next time, we will defeat Slash. So, this has been Mega for 400, reminding you that Toy Story 3 is a fantastic film.